Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays Black Mesa. Continuing right from where we left off, where I'd just fallen down this um, gantry here and, uh, in front of this flaming pipe, which is a rather, um, well, not the most subtle trap we've had yet. Um, so let's try and see what the options are from here. Well, I can't go that way. Can't go in here. Apparently I can't go up this ladder though. There we go. So, uh, can I jump over from here? Maybe I can. Yes. Okay, that was easier than I was. Oh, or I could have just... Oh, no, I couldn't. Yeah, I'd have had to jump over like that. Okay, that was less subtle than I feared. Is this... Oh, no, this is a different green goo area. Um, but, judging by the fact there's a ladder here, and a sort of way across these pipes here. I'm, I'm suspecting another jumping puzzle. Or something that's going to... Ooh, nice. Um, I'm kind of glad I can't get in there because I really don't have the firepower to take that critter on. <laughs> um, oh, there's nowhere to go from here. Do I have to... Ah. Yes, I suspect I need to jump over onto those. Ah, without doing that... Ah, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> There's a medi station down there. Actually, I'm going to go down and investigate that medi station. Um, and that switch. Nope, nothing from that. Um, because that looks like it's going to give me more health back and I'm probably going to lose from falling in the gun gunge again. <laughs> right, I feel a bit healthier now. Locked door. Ooh, that might be openable as well. Maybe I should have come down here in the first place. I don't like missing things. Come on. Ah, uh, this is back here. Yes, okay. So again, I don't think there's any actual gameplay reason for that. It's just another of those um, making the place seem real, because if there were no doors into this place, you'd be going, what? how does this place even function? What is Black how does Black Mesa even work? What's going on? Right, let's try and time this better this time. Nope, no such luck. <laughs> still, I do still have more, significantly more health than I did the first time I tried this. So, I think, what? Oh, I'm sitting near the edge. <laughs> no, that was the wrong button. That was jump, not run. Where am I? I'm getting dizzy. And I'm apparently completely failing to jump. So I remember to press run that time, but somehow didn't press jump properly. <sighs> For this right, that um, bull squid will have finished his snack by the time I've uh, done this. There we go. Right, what's in the box? Nothing. Disappointment. Oh hey, toilet roll. Now that's something that would be very useful in the real world, given the Everybody seems to have... Why did that stop missing? Given that everyone seems to have hoarded it at the moment. Uh, but yes, let's, uh, let's not bring real-world politics into this. There's quite enough nonsense and danger in this game without bringing um, vir deadly viruses and other sort of real-worldy things into it. Well, I guess I'd drop down and land on that nice soft pile of rubbish. Squish! Nice. <laughs> so this seems to be... All of this seems to be a waste processing facility area. I mean, the um, there was that garbage crusher I woke up in, in at the beginning of the last ep no part part way through the last episode. Now I'm going through garbage disposal areas like this, and there was all that toxic sludge being presumably processed in the last um, last area. I don't know whether I chose the right one of these. That looks kind of safe. I don't trust that not to give way underneath me and drop me into a pit of despair. Uh, let's drop down to that catwalk first and see what we can find from here. Is it just... yeah, just just locked doors. It's only taken me, what, 12, 13 episodes, but I'm finally starting to learn what um, locked doors look like as opposed to openable doors. That looks like water. It is water. Thank goodness for that. Can I... Out. No, I don't think I can get out. I'm just going to have to follow this pipe and um, hope for the best. 
hope there's no sort of big chompy. Um, yeah, that basically. That looks like a big chompy thing. Yeah, there's a ladder over there. It's not so bad. Who wants a glad to see a ladder? <laughs> I don't remember any of this from um, the original Half-Life. What's the betting I'm about to have to go through there? This, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to... If, if you told me that all of this was in the original game, I'd probably believe you because my memory is absolutely atrocious. But I don't remember any of it. Whoa, that's quite quick. <laughs> okay, so presumably we're going to go around there at some point. And that's going to take us through that flaming bit we saw earlier, because I find it... It's, it's one of those um, Chekhov's flamethrower things, isn't it? The way you, you see an area where there's a swimmy bit that goes through an area that's all on fire. Yes, there we go. Let's stay deep enough that and hopefully uh, we'll be alright here. Oh, and there's another chompy thing. Don't go in the chompy thing, don't go in the chompy thing. Um, I have a bad feeling about this. So these are all... Um, alright, maybe I can go deep enough. Out, hot. Yes, I think I might be able to go under the chompy thing. There we go. Oof. I don't know what they're trying to process through here, but uh, apparently it needs a lot of general abuse and danger and so on. I think I'm not... Oh, this is getting almost to um, Star Wars levels of... of um, Safety equipment. They haven't actually got the bottomless pits. Oh, there's the fire again. But I feel that <laughs> these areas are not sufficiently well protected given how dangerous all the processing seems to be. <laughs> that. Nice. Um. That's good, very much appreciated, uh, but it feels a bit odd in that, well, firstly, I, did I have to come this way? I'm not sure. And secondly, it's just given me basically everything I had. Oh, I haven't got a magnum. Um, and I haven't got a shotgun either, that's a shame, I like the shotgun. But basically, it's given me a full set of weapons. Um, oh, no crossbow. It's given me lots of weapons. And then a dead end. So, and lots of armour as well. So, I mean, is there anywhere else to go from here? Can I carry on this way? What's down here? And was that area I just went through? Oh dear. I have a horrible feeling this is a trap. Oh no, this, this is a way out. Yes, here's a way out. <gasps> oh. Oh. Ah, there's my magnum. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Security Guard. Um, yeah, have this. I think it's dead. Yep, that's dead. Ugh. Right. That bit was a bit scary, even though I, when it didn't, I didn't lose any health at all. and um, I made it through completely unscathed. Yet it was actually quite scary because I was really running low on air. And couldn't find a way out. Anything else in here? La, 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 la. Satchel charges. Nice. 
why the waste processing plant has such charges available in it, I'm, 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 I'm not going to ask, to be honest. Yeah, so my... Let's turn that off, whatever it is. Because it's there. It doesn't seem to turn the obvious thing down there off, but I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that, that sort of slight diversion I took where I got all of these guns. That seemed a bit odd in that it wasn't a compulsory way to go, but if you didn't go that way, you'd be in a fair amount of trouble. In that you'd now be taking on all of these bull squids with basically a pistol and a crowbar. Oi, over here. Go stand by the thing I've just thrown. That'll do. <laughs> okay, those are more powerful than I realised. <laughs> I possibly didn't need to target it quite so carefully. <laughs> Bull squid steak, anyone? Good. Go back to those um, flamethrowers and have a nice barbecue. There's nothing else around here, is there? Nope. Right. Um... What happens next? I mean, it looks like I'm meant to be going in that, but there isn't a way in from here. And it kind of looks dangerous, not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs> Maybe I can jump in from here. And there's a convenient window there, but I can't jump that high. And I've pulled this this lever, so I've, hopefully that means I've turned off some kind of viciousness in there. Oh, I know what it'll be. Yeah, go up here, perhaps. Nope, those shutters are closed. They're all closed. Hmm. Is this a good idea? So this, presumably, is the other side of those... Oh, no, this is those mesh, meshes I saw before. And it's supposed to be some sort of, I don't know, dealing with floating waste system, fair enough. That's still, still the same problem that way. Hmm. So I can't get through there because of those um, doors. Pulling that lever didn't. I sp this is a reinforced window, I'm not getting through there. Maybe there's another switch somewhere that opens those. I have a funny feeling this is going to be one of those bits where I speed it up because I'm completely lost and confused. Unless, hang on, is this a physics puzzle? Am I supposed to be picking up a box and bring it up to stand on it? No, maybe not. I feel like I must have needed to come down here because there are those aliens as they... Well, guards, for want of a better word. This cage is... complete. There's anything extra on this level. Oh, can I jump from there? No, the entrance hole is right up there. Oh. <laughs> right, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing on this level. Next level up. Oh, can I? No, there's no way. There's no way through over there. No, nothing. Nothing over there. Nothing there. Oops. Maybe there's a switch in here that I've missed. Of course there is. There we go. <laughs> uh, am I going to have to call this episode unobservant as well? Really sure I want to go in there. That presumably is a thing I just turned I turned off earlier. Hurrah! Progress. And all it cost me was quite a lot of thinking. Um, everything's shut. <laughs>
cap down here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, another squishy thing. Lovely. Okay, who saw that coming? It can't have just been me. <laughs> At least put me back in the same place. This may take a few tries. Well, I made it through the first one. Thought I was going to be okay to just keep going, but it turns out no. This is going to be bad for my deaths count. Ah, oh, there's more of them. Please, no more. Please. <laughs> right, that's another dangerous place to go. Let's jump onto here instead. This looks safe. I'm glad there's been, not been anyone shooting at me uh, while I've been going through here. And yes, I'm sure that's going to be famous last words, and I'm about to get attacked now. Um. The fact that I wasn't supposed to go in here apparently makes me want to go in there more, but no, I can't. The belt's too fast. I think. Yes. Alright, let's find out where this goes. Let's head with my. Okay, into another um, shreddy cutty machiney thingy. That's a technical term. I don't know why I'm sort of climbing down these carefully rather than just, you know, jumping off the side like that. Um, apart from because that's an awfully long way down and that door doesn't. I mean, this looks like a much safer way to go. Although, knowing my luck, this is just going to lead me back round to where I started to make me do all of this again. Yeah, I should have known. Can't go taking the, the safer route. What? Ah. Can't, can go getting stuck on railings, though. investigate these boxes while we're down here. Nope, nothing in those. I suspect this is probably just where you go when you get it wrong. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeek. Oh, fail. Succeed. 
That's uh, an unopenable door. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I see. This is one of those doors I tried to open earlier and get through. Yep. All right. I'll play the game by its rules. Oh, no, apparently I won't. <laughs> oh. I was just trying to be a bit too, a bit too smug and run th and run through the whole thing, given that um, I, I've already wrecked it. But apparently, trying to run into this means I just end up falling out. Oh, okay. that bit's that bit's a bit tight, and I, I overdid it in the other direction. So yeah, yeah. All right, let's do the obvious thing. to be somewhere where that I feel is actually designed for people. Open that, move that across, I said move that across. Oh, it's a pull and keep pulling. Maybe I meant to put it about halfway because that's too far to jump. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, we're meant to put that halfway because it's much too far to jump. There is a ladder coming back up here though, so that suggests that falling down down there isn't a death trap, although there are quite a lot of head crabs down there. Um should we preempt this a little bit? I think we get both of them. That one's probably near enough now. There we go. <laughs> I, that was apparently a bit more destructive than I was expecting. It seemed to have demolished quite a bit. Anyway, now I don't have to worry about the head crabs. Put that about there. Maybe about there. Do you think I can make that? Yeah, because I can jump on it from this pipe. I don't think he jumped then, but never mind, I did make it. <sighs> Another timing puzzle. Lovely. Or is it a get out of the... No, it isn't a get out before you go in the fire. It's a try and, try and go through the fire without getting scorched. Ow! <laughs> a partial scorch. <laughs> say partial, I've lost 6% of thing, armour and health, that's not too bad. Oh, jeez, how much longer does this go on for? And why am I being given trip lines? I'm not, I'm not going to touch those batteries yet, because I've still got 96% um, shield, so it should be a waste. Let's try and work out where this wants us to go. There's a load of ammunition on there. That implies I am supposed to end up on it at some point. What's in here? Ooh, no, that's a chompy thing. Do not want chompy thing. Oh. Worse. I don't think I want to be considered solid waste. I'll have you know I've been dieting very carefully. Oh, great. Oh, radiation as well. What do they 
what kind of waste are they dealing with here that requires this much processing? Uh, no, don't go in there. <laughs> that looks bad. Oh, that looks less bad. What was that? <laughs> Sounded organic. Oh dear. Can I just go back to the old traditional behaviour of shooting stuff, please? It's much less stressful. Oh, here's some barnacles, so the answer might be yes. What was that? Try again. They've got very long tongues, those things. This looks like a way out. Shotgun ammo, but no shotgun. Hmm. Maybe there's a shotgun in one of the boxes. The fact that I've got full health tells me I'm probably quite probably not gonna find anything in these boxes. <laughs> I should just leave them alone. I think I hear those sonic hound creatures. What's the best way to deal with them? Possibly explosives. Excuse me? Can I get off the ladder, please? Yes. That was meant to be an explode, not a throw. Right, don't have to worry about them now. Um. Why is... Oh, it's, the, oh, it's an electric fence, okay. I was going to say, why is there electricity in the air? But there isn't this it's the fence. Um... Okay, this is all starting to look very military again, so I think I'm about to get soldiers. What's that green blob? I think that's a um, game being weird artifact. Um, so I'm going to try and ignore it. Okay, cut. <laughs> nope. Well, obviously I've, I obviously can't touch the fence. I don't think I can jump over it. What's that? Aha! Problem solving with bullets. Excellent. I know I just said there's probably no point in doing that, but, you know, who can resist a bit of destruction? This looks much um, more. What's the word I'm looking for? Cleaner and looked after, he says as the light flickers off. Why have they revoked my clearance? Or maybe I never got clearance, so I've only just started at the. Um, Black Mesa. Ah, the gentle hum of electronics. What on earth is that meant to be used for? Oh yeah, what? Was that open a minute ago? Okay. Um, this feels like a boss fight. Oh, gas. Oops. <laughs> Alright, apparently I've just killed the poor sod. Um, that might be for the best. I mean, given the chapter name is Questionable Ethics. Quest questionable. Yeah, yeah, that. You, saw, you all saw it. Maybe killing it is the best thing to do. Not sure. Not even sure that was 
meant to be human or not. No, go down the ladder. Yeah, this is all just scenery. I feel like I'm in an airport. I have a feeling that um, having played... Uh, do anyone remember Far Cry? Because that creature in the um, chamber there makes me think of the Trigens from that. <laughs> and the fact that we're in containment lockdown doesn't help. Either. And that's a um, DNA symbol on there as well. So they've been playing silly buggers with some sort of genetics. Oh dear. If I have to fight trigens, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Ooh. This looks fun. What? Are those... They're not head crabs, are they? Yes, they're firing head crabs at a target. What's that all about? Well, whatever that is, it doesn't work, but. No, those aren't head crabs, they're the wrong shape. What on earth is going on here? I don't think I want to be any part of this. Let's carry on moving. That was me thinking it was Aperture Laboratories that were the um, that did the weird things in the Half-Life universe. This is all very creepy. Oh. I was going to say, it's all very creepy in a kind of alien isolation way. Where it's extra creepy. Because you're trundling along happily through the game. And there's nothing there, and it's far too quiet, and you're going, what earth is going on, and why are these green dots still here? And you're wondering, what could... Okay... Was that the G-Man up there? I saw movement, but... Okay, let's try it again with the victim. This is going to be messy. Whoa. Yes, messy. Green light, please. Thank you. Right. Yes, I can see what... I'm starting to see why this is called questionable ethics, especially as they've got what's clearly an alien dissection station going on over there. And I've just spread another alien all over the um, side of the room. This pod... Oh, there's my crossbow. Has a security guard who's clearly been eaten by... Eaten by the headcrabs, but not turned into a zombie. Interesting. Well, speaking of zombies, I can hear one down there. <laughs> oh, it's the um, it can't be a lab unless you've got a, a, t a periodic table on the on the wall somewhere as a poster. <laughs> I want my shotgun back. Yeah, you just stay bashing your head against that wall, that's fine. Oh yes, that well-known brand of fake TVs. Uh.
This feels a lot like the um, locker room in Hazardous Materials, where we where the game started. I don't know, Foreman, not Freeman. That's all right. <laughs> Why the oh the military have been through here? That's why there's bullet holes in all the toilet doors. Because, yeah, why wait for a cubicle, a cubicle to become free if you can just shoot whoever's in the pre in in the occupied ones? <laughs> like how um, the door to the ladies is locked because Gordon Freeman is a man. Therefore, you have to obviously, obviously have to go through the uh, through the gents. I'm still feeling really paranoid. It is much too quiet. We've had three head crabs and some elaborate set pieces. Is that Barney? I think it is. I'll go over and say hi to him in a minute. Racking up dead scientists in the uh, in the kitchen. Nice. Hey, hey, buddy. It ain't no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. So I need a scientist. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding out somewhere in the labs. Maybe with the both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out of here. Seems reasonable. Okay, why not? I didn't want to die alone anyway. Did you see that, that thing with the missing leg? Was that the thing I gassed earlier, the big green dude? I don't know. Um, his description is a bit limited. If you were a scientist and you weren't dead, where would you, Sorry, Doc. Where would you hide? That's where I just came from. Alright, let's go up here then. Even though Barney said it's no good. Hey, what's that sign say? Oh. No, don't go running in there. It's Latin. Good shot. Good shot. Never fire, you douchebag! <laughs> I agree. Where was he? There's one up there. Did Barney get him? I think he did. Nice shooting, Barney. Yeah, shotgun. I've been trying to call that for ages. My bad, Freeman. That's a nice statue. Can't go up there. No, no way, no way up there. That door presumably isn't going to. No. Nope. They're definitely keeping me topped up with um, health and armor. It's very nice of them but makes me worry that I'm going to need it. Mm, conference room? Seems like a good place to hide if you're a scientist. You know, everyone is scared of meetings. Where'd my Barney go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, we should probably get going now. Another crossbow. Top guns, nice. Should try and learn what order these things are in. You 
have any idea they were working on this kind of stuff? Mate, this is my first day. It's been a hell of a first day, but... Although, wasn't there some talk in one of the random bits of voiceover that described, that suggested that it's been a, a week or something like that? It was... I can't remember exactly what they said, but it was... Oh. Cheaper ammunition. Yeah, um, I'm sure there was something that said, some random voiceover that said um, that I'd be, they'd been tracking me for a week or I don't know. I can't remember what it was. It was cheesy posters. Um, there was definitely something about it having been a significant amount of time. What am I firing? Is this another destroy all the genetic monstrosities? Or is it release them or? No, I know what this will be. They'll have been protected in there. I'll go out here. Something will open to release them. And then I'll have to run back up there and trigger that to zap them. So, actually, no, these tubes are all. Like this. <laughs> I mean, I can deal with a couple of vortigaunts, but, you know, I feel that since the they've been so kind as to provide me with this emergency Tesla system, I might as well use it, even if it is rather noisy. Any more? I did hear some shooting, actually, just before that went off. Um, I hope I didn't accidentally emergency Tesla Barney as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, um, a dope fish from Commander Keen, isn't it? An <laughs> unknown species, yes. Uh, I feel like I should be looking at more of these things in case they're ridiculous. Genetic scientists, and they've got a um, a poster up of the water cycle. Good. Yikes! Show me your head again, and I'll blow it off. Please. I mean, I know there's another one. Whoa! What was that? So we were talking about trigens earlier. I think I found them. Yikes. I don't like bullet sponge enemies. I don't have any grenades. Oh dear. <laughs> um, right. This is a good and terrifying point to end the, end the episode, I think. I've been playing for a bit longer than I usually mean to. This has been almost 50 minutes. Um, I'll... Yeah. I'm just going to cower and hide behind this table. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next one when I... Um, I hope there won't be too many more of those guys. They're... Um, a bit difficult to take out. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.